Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and we're still working on the same pattern. The only dimension the person didn't give on Facebook was this is only a six inch, one sixteenth inch slot. I just took it as a quarter inch. So I redrew it real quick. And I wasn't gonna make a video because it one, it came out perfect with the pattern uh, to exactly to the fit of each end. Still don't, she said this is the gauge about the size of a paper clip. Well, every paper clip has to be a different thickness or most of them do. So I'm gonna let her cut the holes. And then uh, actually some, uh, some other gentleman's working on it. We're gonna draw it, both send it to her in a file format that she can use. But, but I wasn't gonna make a video, but this throws in another little wrench. So I thought I'd go ahead and do it. So we're gonna make our stick. And if you didn't watch the first one, you might be left out. But there's a half inch and then a 1 16th inch gap and then a quarter inch and a half inch and another gap. So the, the gaps are 16th of an inch. So the best way I know how to do it is take the take a 0.5 blot by 0.25 and with snap to object, it should snap right there. And then several ways you could do this. Um, Probably the easiest way would be to take a line, holding down the control button so it's perpendicular, and have it snap to this line. Change your nudge distance of 16th of an inch, which is 0 0.0625, and nudge that line over. And then change it to 0.25, and nudge that line over. Well, I didn't make a, yeah, I did need to make a copy of it. Control D and make a duplicate, and then change it back to a, quarter, to a sixteenth of an inch, is 0 0.0625. And then let's go ahead and just change it to a half inch, 0 0.5, and nudge it over, make a duplicate. We didn't really have to draw this box, but we'll we're bringing a line now. Sorry about that. And let's just start drawing a line, then hold down the control button. We actually need it the whole length of the product, so let's go there. And then let's snap to that. And you know what? We could take this box away. Might make it easier. Nope. Should have left that box. We need to snap to that line. <clears throat> so now we have these little compartments and the, probably the best thing to do is go ahead and take your virtual signal delete key and delete this and delete this and delete this and possibly even delete this. Now we've got a curve, so we need to select, well, it's all gone. We need to get rid of that delete. Whoop. Let's go ahead and delete that in. And now we just have that line. <clears throat> and let's zoom in here. So we got the pattern. Let's control G and group all that together. And now let's get step and repeat out and let's change our <clears throat> distance between objects is 0 0.0625. It rounds it up, but it is actually 0 0.625 and hit apply. And then if you don't want to figure out how many you can go, you just keep going to, till we get to the end. And that's where I say the pattern kind of repeats itself, and I think that works. Now we need to go back and delete lines, and we need this to be here, so we, we're gonna delete between each of the bigger the lines. And you know what, for the video, I'm not gonna do the whole, whole thing. Sometimes I get caught up and I keep doing it, but we really don't need to. <clears throat> but in this particular case, no, we don't. We don't, I deleted one too many lines there. Somehow I, got, I deleted that line. How is there not a line between there? Oh, there's not a line between there because we duplicated. Now, let's do this and this is good. So this is, 
Control G to group that together still. We need that line we had a while ago. So let's bring that line in. Let me zoom in here a little bit. And let's bring this line to the bottom and that's what's gonna kind of seal that bottom. Now we're gonna take this group and let's, let's put it, I know it's at least 12 times. Yep, doesn't matter if you go over, just take the virtual segment delete key and delete that and delete that little line. Then, that's much better. Take your virtual segment delete key and delete between the bigger parts. We needed that other part while ago, so that's why I kept the line in there. In Girls Online, well, whoop-de-doo, I'm getting irritated at these people that come in on my video that I can get a date. Anyway, and I said again, I wasn't gonna do the whole thing, but here we go, I'm doing the whole thing. It'll look better, you'll understand. This is really pretty easy, it's just using math. Then, you know, you really don't have to do the tops. So get your smart fill tool, no. No, we don't have to do the tops. Fill that in and there's your slots. And then left click, right click. So now we have slots that are 1 16th of an inch wide. And I don't know what's going in here, but there's a, so we'll do it again. There's a, I know this was a little confusing I had somebody comment the other day that my videos were confusing. And I'm not saying anything about that except for maybe they are sometimes. But anyway, and then you got a 16th of an inch slot and everything else is a quarter. So that's how you do it. It's just the same thing, just step and repeat. And I am gonna center this file and hopefully she can add her um, holes in there. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.